if you ever eat shark or caviar or use alternative medicines, especially Chinese ones, you could be helping one or more rare species towards extinction. A report out this week from the Worldwide Fund for Nature lists the 10 most wanted species whose growing popularity as food or medicine is putting them in danger. In ours, Dr. Paul Toyne, one of the fund's conservation officers. Very good morning to you, Dr. Toyne. Uh, there are some strange life on this list, um, like the golden seal herb, which I'd never heard of, but also very common things like the shark. Yes, indeed. I mean, the shark is in threat of extinction, mainly because of the trade in sharks. Um, it's, a, it's a, a fact that between 30 and, and 70 million um, sharks are actually um, traded in per year. And this, this trade is unsustainable. And what WWF are calling for is a regulated uh, fishing policy for sharks. Um, at the moment it's completely unregulated, uh, there are no controls, there are no quotas set and if we see the current level of, of fishing sharks continuing, the shark will become extinct. How relevant is that to us in Britain? I mean, the only time I would hear of shark here is perhaps as an exotic fish in, in an expensive restaurant. Well, if you go to a fish and chip shop in Britain, there's a good chance that shark will be on the menu. It's actually called rock salmon over here, so you can actually purchase uh, shark and, and eat shark in this country. All right, what about things like the Asian tiger and the black rhino, though? Surely they're already protected by law. Yes, they are protected by law. In fact, the black rhino has been protected for up to, well, 20 years. And the sad uh, fact is that the, um, the protection is not adequate. Uh, there's no good having uh, an endangered species um, protected um, if it's not properly enforced. The legislation which is in place at the moment is, is, is not appropriate. What we need is, is tighter enforcement of the, of the legislation, better on-the-ground enforcement, uh, local training and also public awareness. People need to know that tigers and rhinos are in danger purely because of the trade, the illegal trade in them, where they're being poached for use in traditional Chinese medicine, for example. But how do you stamp that out without incurring huge costs? Well, the, the best way to stamp it out is to actually hit the people who are trading. Um, what we need to see is tighter penalties for people who are trading in endangered species. And it doesn't just occur in, in Africa or Asia, it also occurs in the UK. I mean, if we put this into context, £13 billion a year is the sum of money that's transferred. It's the retail market for, for the trade in wildlife. And 25% of that is in illegal wildlife. Does it really matter if some of these species do become extinct? What about the sturgeon? Why does that really matter? Well, if you take the sturgeon, for example, um, it really is like a living dinosaur. We've had the sturgeon with us for 250 million years. Some individuals can live up to 100, 125 years. And I, I would put it to the consumer of caviar in the UK. Do they want to be responsible for, for the extinction of this species purely by, by eating caviar? OK, Dr. Toyne, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. So what are the top five species most in danger from the appetite for their flesh, bones or internal organs? At number five, the shark. It may have big teeth and a nasty disposition, but it's no match for modern fishing methods. And as the market for its fin and other parts loved by the Chinese grows, it's available in more and more British restaurants and supermarkets. At number four, the minke whale. You might have thought that all that campaigning and bumper stickers had done their job, but the Japanese and the Norwegians still insist on harpooning considerable numbers for what they call scientific purposes. Scientific lunch, scientific dinner, scientific snacks, one presumes. Here's the rhinoceros. That's in at number three. Its speed, bulk and ferocity haven't managed to protect it from the poachers. The Chinese think the powdered horn is a cure for impotence, and they're coveted in the Middle East when carved into dagger handles. At number two, the sturgeon, a living aquatic dinosaur, as we heard, who warned children for what makes it valuable to fishermen. Nobody wants to eat the actual fish, but the eggs, well, the rich love them just a little bit too much. And at number one, the tiger. All that power, all that grace, all that money to be made. The great striped cat has already gone from many of its old hunting grounds because now it's more prey than predator. And it's the same old culprit, Chinese medicine, that sends out the poacher with his high-powered rifle to reduce vibrant life to powdered bones.